Hello everyone, welcome to our Let's Play series of Fallout 1. This is Colonel RPG as usual, and I'm very happy that you chose to join me today because, well, it's Fallout 1. <laughs> well, yeah. So, um, in the last episode we had, uh, well, gotten rid of Gizmo. Yeah, that uh, Gizmo sign over there apparently is there, still rotating, but Gizmo is no longer there, he's dead. Gizmo is dead, and Gizmo was the, well, I suppose a crime lord of this town, but as we also learned when we talked to Tycho over there, um, we apparently have another issue in this town, and it's these guys over here, the Skulls, and that guy's a member, this guy has file teeth, and that girl is a member as well, and that one is just a barfly, it's, it's his name, yeah. So, um, I was trying to get an event to happen here, and what I, what ended up happening instead, when I reloaded, was I talked to this man with file teeth, and I got myself into a little bit of trouble. Uh, now, you can talk to him, and, uh, and not get yourself into trouble, it's just that the way I did it kind of gotten me into trouble. Um, I'm saying trouble a lot of times, have, have you noticed? Uh, so trouble, trouble, no. <laughs> anyway, um, so yeah, you can talk to him and uh, get yourself a little bit of action if you want to just wreak havoc in this bar. Let's not do that. Let's talk to Neil. Neil is the bartender, and uh, we learned about Neil from Triss over here. Trish, I, I should say, not Triss. Uh, Trish, uh, she's the waitress, and uh, she didn't have much to say apart from um, from a few things. Let's have a chat with Neil and see what he's up what he's up to. Welcome to the scum pit. What can I do for you? Uh, my name's Jesse. Uh, what is this place? Neil looks at you quizzically for a moment. Haven't you ever been to a bar before? This is my place. The scum pit. You buy drinks here. And you tip me. Oh, so can, can I ask you some other questions or the information? Okay, so what do you want to know? Uh, what's the scoop on this town? Well, just over there to the west of us is Gizmo's Casino. I'd be surprised if you didn't know about it. Most of the people here are the ones who just finished losing their money there. Over in the other part of town, you got Killian's General Store and Marcel's Crash House. Killian's a good guy, runs a straight joint, carries everything you need. The Crash House is where you sleep it off when you've been in here for too long. And he chuckles. Mm-hmm. Okay, sounds like a, a good, uh, this, by the way, this is junk town. Uh, yeah, sounds like a good summary of the town. Let's, can I get a drink? Yeah, what do you want? Uh, hard stuff, give me. Give me some hard stuff. Here you go, enjoy. And yeah, he get, you bitch, says this guy. And he punched Trish. Oh, soul, where are you? Get the hell out of here, you goddamn punks. If any of you ever touch her again, I'll kill the whole lot of you. We'll be back, old man. It's not over, says the guy with the filed teeth. Okay. I was kind of st no, uh, I Ian is kind of was kind of standing in the way. Uh, but let's get this stuff, I suppose. Uh, ooh, we have one of these. Man, we have so many. Oh, where did I get that? How did I get that? Hmm. Well, we have plenty of bags. I think I know where I got that, by the way. If I remember correctly, it was at Gizmo's place. I didn't notice that I had taken it. I just took everything. It, it, yeah, what, there's a lighter, there's a few things, but nothing really too extraordinary. Also, I need to drop this, because this is kind of heavy. We'll take care of that in a little bit, because we need to go back to Killian. Uh, but we'll do something for Killian before that. Let's have a chat here with Trish, see if this, she's okay. Uh, but she seems to be totally fine. She's back to business. Um, so, uh, why did you scream about Saul? Saul is my boyfriend. He's really good to me. Okay. Who's Saul? Oh, I know who Saul is. Oh, yeah, that's another quest. Yeah, what you want? Uh, good singing, man. Yeah, thanks. What can I do for you? Uh, do you perform el uh, anywhere else? Yeah, I sing at the hub sometimes. And I visited the Brotherhood of Steel and added them with the caravans. What do you ask? Uh, can you tell me how to get to the hub? The hub? Oh, just a short distance down south of Junk Town. What else? Uh, what about the Brotherhood? The Brotherhood is a couple of days west and a little bit north of here. Don't go there, though. They won't let you in unless you're in with a caravan. You need anything else? Uh, how do I get to Aditum? Actually, they won't let you in at all. Uh, even if you were with a caravan, but sure. How do I get to, uh, to Aditum? Ah, yeah. Head southwest of the hub. Aditum is part of LA Boneyard. It's a small, semi-industrial town. I, I didn't like it much there. What else do you want? Well, never mind. Good, good singing, though. Uh, it's a good way to get yourself um, some some directions. Let's have a chat here with Barfly before I go back to Neil. I don't feel so good. You don't? Oh, I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry. Hey, man. Uh, can I go back there and steal your stuff? Yeah, I can. Fantastic. Okay, let's see what we have. Just sneak in case that guy is kind of 
peasy about that, because now we can sneak. It's not really a skill that I pick too often, but for a me melee character later on, it's going to be absolutely fundamental. Although our guys are going to get killed. That's why we're a loner. Dog meat is probably not going to reach late game. I Just a heads up. Just a heads up. So, Neil, welcome to the scum pit. What can I do for you? Well, you don't... Hmm. I'm looking for information. Hmm. Who are the jerks? Oh, them. Yeah, they're the Skulls. They're a local gang. All the riffraff. Uh, sometimes they start fights or cause a little trouble. Usually killing keeps them in line, though. Hmm, okay. And if I ask some questions? Okay, so what do you, Okay. So what you can do with this? Well, you can go to Killian and ask him about the Skulls. That's not what we're gonna do, but first let's go up here. Uh, because I wanna talk to... Saul, is that guy? A tough-looking, muscular man. Suppose he is. I think so. Yeah. Uh, what do you do here? Uh, <laughs> why, I'm a boxer. Uh, what's the deal? Uh, well, stranger, I work for Gizmo. He's the owner of the great casino there. Pays good money to fighters here, too. What else do you want to know? Yeah, he doesn't know that his boss is dead. Uh, he doesn't actually... Anything... Nothing really happens if you kill Gizmo. Uh, and he doesn't really lock you out of these quests. Which I believe is a good thing, to be honest. Uh, because... He, Doing dealing with Giz Gizmo is one of the first things you usually do in Junktown if you're a new player, and uh, locking you out of a bunch of quests if that happens it wouldn't be too great. Uh, and besides, it kind of doesn't uh, it kind of breaks immersion a little bit to be honest. But yeah, uh, but I I prefer it that way. How did you become a boxer? I was get I was always getting into scuffles with my brothers when I grew up. One time, a small band of raiders attacked Junktown, and I beat one into submission before he could get his gun on me. Just luck, really. But Gizmo was sponsoring organized fights, and I needed some money. Been boxing ever since. What happened to your brothers? Oh, my brother James was killed in a raider attack a few years ago. Shortly after that, my other brother Daryl uh, gathered together some things and uh, set off south towards a mythical place called the Glow in search of the treasure of the ancients or something like that. He never came back. Why do you stay in Junktown? I live here. I like boxing. I have a good life with Trish. I, I have no desire to go elsewhere. Oh, really? Yeah, I met Trish. Oh, she's very important to me. Mm. But she doesn't like my boxing. She doesn't seem to understand what, that what it's uh, what uh, that it's what I want to do. Yeah, man. I, she's concerned for your welfare. She probably can't stand to see you getting beaten up and risking your life for Gizmo. If you don't find a compromise, you could lose her. I never thought of it like that way. I figured that she just didn't like boxing. I suppose I'll have to talk to her more about this. Thanks. Hey, man. No problem. Yeah, and you can go back to Trish. Uh, and you can actually get into some battles over there. I think it's on tomorrow. Or maybe today, but I will find out. We'll find out. It depends on the day. I think it's every third, every three days. So it's at like 20, uh, on the third day of the month, on the 13th, uh, 13th, and on the 23rd. I think that's how it goes. Let's see. Uh, so do you know a guy named Saul? I used to think so. Now I'm not sure. Yeah, he really cares about you. So he says, if he did, he wouldn't be doing what he's doing. He's boxing, right? Of course, it's his boxing. He's a really nice guy, but he needs to get out of it before it kills him. Yeah, maybe that's what he wants to do. Maybe you're right. Maybe I need to understand what he does and leave him, leave him at that. And I gained 20, 205, 250 experience for saving Saul and Trish's, Trish's, Trish's relationship. That's how it's pronounced. Um, so, can I ask her some more questions? No, no more. And there it is. That's kind of a hidden quest, because it's not marked. Most of the quests that you do in this game are not marked in, in, uh, in the... Um, in the status thing. I imagine they would have had some clues over here. Yeah, this thing is for clues. Uh, they, they, they had that in the uh, demo version of the game, I believe. Um, but uh, they, they, they took it out for, I don't know, probably development purposes. Even though the game took, I think, three years? No, two, two, three or two years. They started in 2005, I believe. Although there was an early demo for Interplay back in 2004, I think. And then they started actually full-scale full, full development in 2005 and got released at the end of uh, 2007. Um, so yeah, it might have been for just they didn't have time. Hey, Sol, um, can you tell me about Junktown? Well, if you are going, to, uh, if you are just looking for supplies, you should try killing Darkwater store. Uh, off, of the, so yeah, I know all about that. Who are the skulls? The skulls are a bad bunch who hang out in the back of the crash house at the scum pit. Watch out for them. They like playing with knives. Mm hmm. Anything else you can tell me about? Uh. Mm, thanks for chatting. Let's not kill this guy. There's no point. Uh, let's have a chat here with Gustafur. Sorry, no boxing today. When's the next match? 
You just missed it. Try again in a couple days. Salt boxes every three days. Okay, well, it's yesterday. So I was wrong. I was definitely, definitely wrong. So you can bet. I think you can bet on Saul. Uh, or you bet on who he's gonna fight. I don't remember because I usually, I rarely, rarely do that. We're not gonna do that right there. It doesn't really matter. Uh, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the scum pit. We're actually gonna get in, well, over here. Uh, we're gonna get in and we're gonna talk to them. Oh, oh, okay. We're good. Let's see how, actually, how, oh, I can't see how many people. We still need to get all of this stuff <clears throat> and loot all this stuff. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, let's have a chat with her. Uh, you're a skull starved stranger. You better leave. Yeah, I think. Uh, so yeah. You can talk to... Here? You can talk to this lady. Let's do that. Who are you and what are you doing here? I'm Jesse. I'm new to this town. Apparently so. Since everyone knows that this is the territory of the Skulls, you'd better beat it before someone decides to hurt you. The Skulls? Who are they? That's us. We're the meanest gang in town. Actually, we're the only gang in town, but nobody messes with us. So you pretty much have the run of the town, hey? Well, you bet. Nobody messes with us. Well, except for Killian, but he's cool and all. He's like the sheriff, man. We do whatever we want. So, who all is in the gang? Well, there's Victor and Shark, who hangs out at the scum pit. Yeah, that's the guy we saw before. Vinny, too, and a couple of other uh, guys who stop by uh, from time to time. Where's the scum pit? Oh, the scum pit is a sleazy bar north of here, near the, casi near, near the casino. Okay, so what's it you guys do? Oh, we just hang out, and sometimes we play games at Gizmo's, or have some fun over at the Scum Pit. Sometimes we do odd jobs for Gizmo, or for some traveler. Victor likes stalking people, too. Uh, come to think of it, you might want to stay away from him. From Victor? I suppose I, I need to. You work for Gizmo, huh? What can you tell me about him? Ah, uh, well, he's this huge fat guy who runs the casino. He wants to run junk down, but Killian keeps him in line. He pays pretty well, though. Occasionally, he hires Vino or Victor to, uh, to deal with people for him, if they're... If they've been a problem, like one stranger who showed up here a few weeks ago. Oh, really? Okay, I see. I see who this stranger is. Why do you hang out with these guys? Well, we're like a family. We take care of each other. Well, except for Shark, who's always breaking things. And Victor, who looks at people funny. But Vinny's cool. They never do stuff together. You know, we're like friends and stuff. Okay, yeah, you can convince her. Basically, if you go to Lars and uh, talk about this situation, he, uh, he asks you officially to get... Uh, to get the get some proof on these guys, and you can convince her to uh, to justify against them. I think you need to pass a, sk a speech check. That's not what we're doing today. What we're doing today? Let me save the game just before I do actually that. Uh, let's see. So that guy over there, I think he's Vinny. Uh, no, I can't. Oh, at least I can't see them. That guy's different. Okay, this guy. So that guy over there is Shark, and that guy is Vinny over there. Let's have a chat with Vinny. I think so. Let's see. Let's actually check. Yeah, that's right. I was right. You're in Skull, st skull Surf, stranger. You better talk quick. Uh, who are you? I'd like to join you guys. You want to join us, huh? <laughs> How do we know you're tough enough to be a skull? Well, let me prove myself to you. Vinny thinks for a mo for a second. If you want to prove you belong in the skulls, I want you to steal that old bastard's wife's ashes. <laughs> Vinny nimbles uh, or mumbles. Let's make Neil suffer for his last couple of hours. Hmm. You want to kill him after that? Okay. I'll do it. Uh, if you're hard enough to do that, maybe you'd make a skull after all. Bring it here after you've got it. Okay, well, uh, and uh, you need to do this, because uh, otherwise, well, this is the best way to, to do this quest. Let me also check back here, because there might be good stuff in there, and there isn't anything. Let's go. Ian is leading the way. <laughs> Man, that guy's crazy. I'll, I did tell him to always run, though. That that kind of makes that happen, what, he, what he's doing. Uh, just running all over the place. Uh, but it's, it's good. It's better. It's better that way, I, th I suppose. Uh, haven't you cleaned the body up? Ugh. Anyway, we need to steal that. The best way to steal that is to wait for night. Uh, and by that, I mean that thing over there. But if you are good at sneaking, you don't need to. Uh, you actually need to, I think, apply steel to it. No. Action aborted, huh? Oh. Oh, because dog meat is in the way. Damn it, dog meat. Get out of the way. I think. So, steel is number three, isn't it? Yeah, it is. And there it is. You successfully steal the urn from the countertop. I think you need to apply steel. I usually do, but uh, you might not need to. It can. You might be able to just use it. But there we go. We successfully stole the urn. That guy doesn't know where it's what it is, and don't worry. It's all gonna be fine, because I have a plan. I have a plan. Let's have a chat with Vinny now, and uh, see what he's up to. You got it? Yep. 
Aha! Let that old cock suffer until we off him tonight. Are you in? Uh, I decided I'd rather not have anything to do with the scabs like with scabs like you. What? You'll pay for that remark. Will I? I think I will actually, because I didn't heal up. Nah. I think we'll be fine. Let's punch you in the face. Uh, actually, before I do that, let me apply a steam pack to my person over here, because I got a bunch of them, and uh, that's gonna be good. Ooh, 40, 14. Very, very nice. So he's taking 11 points of damage, 10 points of damage. Yeah, he's going down. And by the way, unlike in Fallout 2, uh, using an item for, from uh, your inventory like I did uses three action points in this game, not two. In Fallout 2, there's it's only two. Get jinxed, bitch! He lost, uh, got knocked himself out. Uh, hopefully, Dogmeat is gonna survive. Dogmeat has got a thick fur. He's got, oh, he got a critical. Oh, Victor was hit instead of Dogmeat! Oh, dog meat! please don't break your leg. He lost his next turn. That's not great. Okay, so what do I want to do? I want to kill this guy so I can start moving. Actually, what's your uh, situation over here? Uh, severely wounded, so I'm going to try and kill him. As long as I don't miss or anything. Okay, so he's down. What the hell is... Why is... I don't... Ian... What happened? Oh, he lost his next turn. Oh, he lost his... <laughs> Get chinxed. Oh, boy. Well, bypassed my armor. And lost a few action points. Not great. Okay, so we not want to bring this guy down because I really want to protect dog meat. Okay, that guy's off. No, that that was Ian. Ian is off. Yeah, eat her, eat her face. Hmm. Rip, rip. Is that what you? Oh, dog meat critically lost, knocked him. Oh, come on. So critically missed, lost two hit points and knocked down, knocked down and hurt himself. Let's bring. Oh, I lost my next turn. Man, that guy really. Has it for, for dog meat. That's bad. Dog meat, protect yourself. He's gonna run away though, but there it is. Come on, Ian. Do your job. Okay, dog meat. Okay, he lost. <laughs> Everybody just. Oh, lock me. Oh, he's lost next turn. Everybody's losing their turn. At least I'm not dropping my, my weapon because I would never find it in here. And there it is. For defeating your enemies, you, burn, you earn a bunch of experience. Now, I think you need to kill her as well. Uh, the good thing about this, though, is that you don't just gain this experience, you gain more. And you gain a reputation as well, because you stole... When we stole the... the um, when you stole the ashes, we lost reputation. So, we're gonna need to, uh, to gain it back, and we gain more by uh, giving them back than we do... Than we lose by, by taking them. So got some good stuff in here. Not extra extraordinarily good stuff, I apologize for the hiccup there. Uh, let's have a chat here with her. She's very upset, she's got a knife, and she dropped her weapon. Okay, well, hope you're not afraid of blood. No, I'm really not. I'm really, really not. By this time, I'm probably covered in yours. And there it is. Never gonna get that knife for me, unfortunately. Yep, never ever, because it's... Actually, I might. Yeah, I did! <laughs> well, that's 30... 30, um, monies that I got. Good stuff. 30 caps. 30 monies. Uh, dog meat. Are you stuck or something? What the hell's wrong with him? You see how I... What the hell? Dog meat is broken. I don't know what happened to dog meat. I think I'll fix him by just leaving. Nope. I think I broke dog meat. Huh. Well, that's a bummer. Oh, that's right. <gasps> These guys don't like us. Are you a Skulls? No, he's a guard. <gasps> no, I was in self-defense. That wasn't self-defense. Uh, well, let me unbreak dog meat and try to figure out what I did wrong there. I'll be right back. Okay. Uh, well, I couldn't figure out how to unbreak dog meat. He's still broken. After I do that battle, he's still broken. So I think what happened is by attacking her, we. I think what happened is by attacking her, this guy became very upset with us, and uh, it's fine. He's okay. Watch out for Gizmo and his cronies. Yeah, I did that. Okay, so I think it's by attacking her. I think this happened as well in the first Let's Play that I did. Um, but yeah, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. We're good. And uh, let's go to Keelan and tell him about the good news. You again. What do you want now? Uh, actually, it's not you, is it? It's not to you that I need to talk about. Or talk to, I mean. Uh, let's just sell some of these stuff. I have a few things here. 
Could get a few steam packs. Let's do that. Let's see if I can sell you this. Very good money. And that as well that I don't need. And a few knives. Oh, beautiful. Mm, that's a little bit too much. Ain't no, ain't no problem. Ain't no problem. I don't need Nuka Colas or Rot Gut. It's rot no, it's booze. Uh, and over here we don't have anything. Can you take the bag? Uh, it's actually kind of expensive, but it's really heavy as well. Okay, that's good. It's good for me. Offer. And uh, I guess I'll see you around. See you later. He's not very happy with us. Although he does, I think he has different stuff. Can I help? Yeah, you can. Yeah, I think he has. Di yeah, he does have. The yeah, that's right. He has different stuff depending on where you look. So you want to be on the lookout for that as well. That happens both in this game and in the second. Oh, that's not right. I don't need that. Can I help? I shouldn't. I shouldn't be able to open that. I. I really don't need that. <laughs> it's too many armors. I have too much loot already. And uh, checking inside these things, they're good backpacks, but yeah, we got a, a multiple key. What's that for? How do I? Uh, what are they for? I don't remember what those are for. Ooh, we got good good stuff in here. Also, the the apples are nice to have. I'm just gonna buy them. Okay. Okay. So apparently, I th I don't know what happened with the uh, with Ian. He just likes the knife a lot. I'm not really. Sh I have no idea. Actually, I, I say I'm not really sure. I have absolutely zero idea. What happened with with uh, with him? Uh, so the gate guide counter, I'm gonna need one, I suppose. I might as well just buy it right now because it's pretty light, so I might as well. Um, and uh, just give him some knives o over here. Might be good to offset that money. The lighter we don't need. That we don't need. We don't need this. I'm probably not gonna need these either. Never gonna use them, so might as well just sell them. Okay, we're good, and that means that I can take. That, okay, good stuff, offer, thank you very much for your business. Or the other way around, I never know how that goes. Let's go to Lars and uh, deliver the good news, because the skulls are gone. Yep. And uh, then we can go back up and uh, deliver the good news to Neil as well, because I have his, uh, his, his thing. It's actually, you can sell it, this thing over here. A beautiful golden urn with the name Harriet, inscribed on the front and ashes inside. Don't look at the ashes! Those things, I, I have never looked at those uh, those sort of ashes, actually. But I think that they, wouldn't they spread? Uh, hey, the Skulls are planning on killing Neil. What? Hmm, we'll see about that. I'll send some men over to ambush them when they try it. You gonna be there? Yeah. <laughs> Let's do this. So yeah, what happened there is that uh, we came to the bar and uh, the Skulls magically appeared. So, you need to get into a fight before to gain the most experience out of that. It's a little bit weird, but that's what happens. I don't actually know who is around. Let's see, we got a member. It's just Skulls, and they they were around. No, this is... This is Victor. Right? Or Vinny. Yeah, this is the guy we killed. That's all fine. I, it is, we killed. I, I didn't... I, I replayed through that battle, but... Yeah, we're, we're gonna be totally fine. So, who are we shooting? Uh, or we are... Who are we attacking? Who am I, by the way? That's... Ian, and that's me. Okay, I, for some reason I forgot that I was a lady. Okay, let's punch this guy in the face. And then I got hiccups, which is not great. Uh, but it's gonna be fine. So he goes down, and I am... So that's the skulls as well. Yep. I'm gonna move over here. Man, that weapon is powerful. Okay. That is not. It's a 9mm, most, or 10mm, rather. Okay. And uh, his is actually... He might be a 9mm. I don't remember the sound. I don't know. Yeah, I don't remember the sound of the 9mm of the Mauser. Okay. Apparently these cops have, have spears. I suppose that's okay. Fuck you, cop, says the guy. <laughs> oh, come on, dog meat. He missed his next turn. Well, you're going down, mister. Oof. And he's down. Okay. Step over there. He's shooting me at close range. Three points of damage. One point of damage. This armor is really nice. And his bullets are pretty terrible. And he's still not dead. Man, this guy's powerful. Even with that shot, look at that, I'm gonna get the kill. And yeah, I did. Yeah, fantastic. Oh, I've learned some new tricks, says Ian, and I leveled up as well. Fantastic, so this is how you get the most out of this particular encounter. It's a little bit, uh, you need to optimize all the battles and all that, but it, it works. It works really well, and it's actually pretty easy. Easier than I expected. Hey, Neil, uh, I, I need to save the game before I talk to you. Uh, right there, yeah, Neil. Oh, welcome to the scum pit. Yeah, I just saved your ass. Uh, I've got your urn back to you. Well, thank you. You can't know what this means to me. You'll never pay for a drink in this bar again. 
Well, that's fantastic. I don't think that he... He... Yeah. He doesn't... He do Actually, you might. Let's let's have a try. The hard stuff. Did I lose... Uh, well, did he say something? Here you go. Enjoy. Uh, I don't know. I don't know if I pay or not. I think I do. I always got the impression that I did. Um... So, let's barter with him, see if he has any money. He does have some money, so I suppose that's... Oh, he does have these. He likes us a lot, don't he? I suppose so. Yeah. F five, yeah. Yeah, he does. He does. Okay, that's... Let's keep the... Keep that. Let's see, I'll sell all these knives. Good money, good money. What else do I have here that I could sell? This thing, pretty expensive. Let's keep one of the knives around. Uh, and sell one of these. And that is... Good. So take one of those, and we're even. Thank you very much, sir. And he's probably, yeah, judging by the ammo that he has, he's got a fantastic gun. So if you decide to kill him, then you're going to get one of the best pistols in the game. <laughs> it's really, really fantastic, that gun. I use it a lot. Uh, it's a, I don't remember the, it's a 5.57, I think? I don't actually remember the caliber, but it's fantastic. So, we have another perk. Let's see. So I have bo bonus hand-to-hand -hand damage. Uh, what is that for? You have learned the secret arts of the East, or you just punch faster. In any case, your hand-to-hand -hand attacks cost one action point less to perform. Wait a minute. Is that what it is? I'm gonna try that. Oh my god, we're gonna whoop so much ass! This is gonna be unbelievably powerful, an unbelievably powerful build. I didn't, I didn't remember. So... That's probably going to be what we're going to get. The ex the bonus move, move you can uh, cheese it out if you save and save scum. I don't think you can save scum with the latest patch, though. Uh, but in the in the original game, you could. This was really powerful because of that. Of course, there was an exploit. Um, we got the ghost, which is not really any uh, necessary for right now. Uh, silent running would be really cool, actually. But uh, it doesn't really matter in-game because you can walk. It doesn't really have any drawback of walking. Uh, in combat or outside of combat, it's it's the same action points, uh, unless they change that. Uh, so we got Swift Learner, Strong Back, not really Snake Eater, Smooth Talker, Silent Running. Or, yeah, I think I know where I'm going. Of course, I know where I'm going. It's this fantastic, fantastic thing. Oh my God, we're gonna we're gonna destroy everything. Everything is gonna die. Let's also get our lock pickup because we're gonna need that. And uh, next level up, I'm probably gonna go with uh, Speech and our own oh, actually. Bring up our arm to get into the habit of, of doing that for right now uh, while we can. So let's go down to Lars and uh, tell him about the good news again. Man, that guy just keeps getting new good news. Although I don't know if Killin wants that as well. I know we're. Oh, yeah, he's closed. Uh, yeah, it's fine. It's fine. Uh, you can drop a bomb over there, but if it damages the guys, which you probably will, unless it's plastic explosive, there's one that doesn't explode as much, I believe. Or I'm confusing it. Or is it, is it only. Fallout 2? I don't know. But yeah, you can open... I think you can open that door with explosives. Um, thanks for the assistance. Junk down... Oh, maybe it's it's if you rest. I think you need to drop the bomb and rest, and then... Drop the bomb inside. I think that's how it is. You drop the bomb inside, you rest, it'll go off when you wake up, and uh, it's gonna open the door. That's... I think that's how it is. So thank you for your assistance, says Lars. Junk town's a little safer now, because of your help. And have you noticed how... Oh... Yeah, there it is. I earned 500 experience for assisting in the elimination of the Skulls Gang. And I also gained a little bit of experience for uh, ret uh, returning the, um, the the urn back to uh, to Neil. Have you noticed how there's a lot of uh, Metalhead names going around? It's Lars, and you could think of, I don't know, the drummer of Metallica. There's Vinny, which is also a drummer of Pantera. And there's, uh, and there's, uh, uh Daryl. Yeah. Uh, which is uh, 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 the guitar player from Pantera as well, uh, or the guitar player. It's, it's a lot of metalheads going around, uh, but, and Andrew over here. I suppose they might be references, but I'm not. I'm not really. I'm not really remembering anybody named Andrew from any band. Don't remember. Anyway, we are out of time for the day, Cyan. I think we did everything there is to do here in Junktown. Uh, except for Dr. Morbid. We didn't do his stuff, but we're going to do it later on. For right now, though, I'm Colonel RPG, and this has been Fallout 1. I really hope you've enjoyed it. And if you did, and you want to see more episodes come out sooner, feel free to leave a like down below. Leave a comment as well. But above all, thank you so much for watching, and I hope I'll see you next episode. Bye-bye, and dog meat is fixed.